today I want to talk about Cuisine, which is a service very similar to Kahoot, if you've played a Kahoot before. Uh, there's a few main differences with Quizzes as opposed to Kahoot, and that is, uh, firstly in Quizzes, the students go at their own pace, which is different to Kahoot, where you stop at the end of every question. Uh, you can play it uh, at, in class or you can set it for homework for later on to see how students do, which is cool, whereas Kahoot is normally a live thing that you do at the time. So uh, Quizzes does that as well. Um, as well, you can get people's questions from all different quizzes to create your own quiz. Whereas in Kahoot, you could take one, you could add or take out questions of that one quiz that you find. Whereas in Quizzes, you can grab and search for questions and slot them in very easily, um, which is great. And of course, at the end, same as uh, Kahoot, you can analyze the responses and uh, see how students have gone and use it as a, a real feedback tool to, to what students understand. So let's uh, log in and get started. So I've logged in and Quizzes is free, like Kahoot is free to play. So to start with, you can just uh, search in a particular topic, uh, maths, look at all the quizzes in there. And as you go through, if you look at some of these, the top ones here, you can see all the questions on the right hand side. So um, I might search for calculus and I can straight away, unlike Kahoot, I can really get a quick idea about what's in all these quizzes because I can see them on the right hand side, which is really, really cool. So let's say if I uh, choose this one here and I can see how many times it's been played, I can see the topic, the years that it's, that it's, uh, that it's associated with. So I can just play this quiz right away. If I like the questions, I can see those questions. If I want to play that with my students straight away, I can just hit play live. I'll show you how it works. Uh, you get a number of question options here, uh, showing a leaderboard that the quest, uh, students get a timer, uh, play music while they're doing it, so you might want to turn that off if they haven't got headphones, so turn that one off. Uh, show the answers for questions after they've done it, shuffle the questions, shuffle the answers, which I always think is a good idea, because then students are doing different questions at different times. Show a review at the end, show the leaderboard, or oh, you get some options there as well, okay? So let's proceed to play a quiz here. All right, so all students need, they don't need an account, all they need is they go to this website, join.quizzes.com, they put in that code and they're off and running, which is really easy. So over on the right-hand side, if there is an image, I can click it to make it bigger, and then I can look at this graph here and say, okay, yeah, that's up one across, so this is a quarter X plus two, there it is, there's the answer, and I get 600 points. It'll then get me to the next one. You can see updating on the left-hand side on the teacher dashboard. So I'm first in the class at the moment. At what rate did the rain fall? I'm going to have a look at this. So it's, uh, we've done four centimetres in two hours. That's two centimetres per hour. The faster I get it in my settings, I've got the faster I've got it, the more points that you get. But you don't have to have it that way as well. So you can see as the quiz progresses, the slope of the line here, let's go negative one. Got that one right as well. So if you look at the teacher section on the other side, you can see how many have got right or wrong and how many uh, haven't, haven't attempted the question as yet. So the way I've set this up is it appears in different, uh, different order, so everyone will be doing a question at a different time. Any time you could uh, have a look at the questions and give uh, students hints as they go along as well, if you can see that a lot of people are, are getting the wrong ones. So if I uh, choose the wrong answer here, I don't get any points and I'll be able to see straight away on my screen, this one here, uh, one person got that one wrong. Okay, which diagram for the following equation, et cetera, et cetera. So the students go through the, in this case, 14 questions. At the end of the quiz, I can just end the game now. So end it right in the middle of the game. I can see an overview of how we did for each person who played the quiz, I can see their score, I can see which questions they got right, which ones they got wrong. I can export the results so I can see them anytime, although anytime you log into quizzes, you can see all the results. And then I can review the questions if I want to with the class. So I can go through and talk about which was the right answer, which was the wrong answer and why. And again, when I've done this, I can see straight away from this grid the questions that people have struggled with. Or have a look here and you can see how many are right and how many are wrong from doing that. So it's a great way to review the questions as well. Um, and that's basically how you go through the process of playing quizzes. 
So let's say we wanted to create a quiz now, really simple in quizzes. If you just search for quizzes that have already been created, so you can search by topic here. So if I just click on geography, let's say I'm looking, uh, just hover over this one here and I can see, oh yeah, there's some nice questions there about the solar eclipse. So if I just go in here, if I like it as is, I can just play it live straight away. I can share it, I can duplicate the quiz and make it my own and put in stuff as well, which is really cool. So um, let's do that. Let's say if I click on duplicate, it's gonna uh, create a copy of that quiz and now I can edit the quiz. So I'm gonna click on edit. And when I'm in here, now I can see the nine questions that were in that quiz with uh, all of the answers and the pictures that have gone into that quiz, which is really nice. Uh, you can see that each of these questions has a time on it, so you can get a total time. The students can see that along the top when they're answering the question the time that it should take to answer the question. 15 minutes is a long time to answer this one here, so for my quiz I'm only going to give them about 30 seconds to do that one. Okay. Now if you want to, I can search for a question. So this is different to Kahoot. So um, I could say, oh, that question there is a really good question. It's not in this quiz. So if I just hit the plus sign, bam, that question goes in as number 10. Uh, there's 24 questions here. Oh, there's a really good question. Hit plus, bam, now it's added to my quiz. So I can easily customize my quiz that I've got here with other questions that have been included on quizzes, and there's tons of them. So that's it. I can see um, these questions that I've added to the quiz now. It looks good. I just click on finish and I need some information here. So this is grade four to eight. It's geography. It's about environment. I can put uh, tags in there as well. So it'd be really good to tag this with Eclipse so that people searching for it will find it. Finish and create quiz. Additionally, I could create my own questions if I wanted to. So you can see on the left hand side here, just go new question. I can type the my question here. Um, I can add an image to that question, which is just an upload from your computer. Or if you know the URL for that image, you could chuck it in there so it looks really nice. You just type in your three options, one, two, and you can have just two there. You need at least two, obviously. Uh, one, two, or three. One, two, three, and four. And that's it. You just give it a time limit, 30 seconds for that question, and that's it. That's, that's all. So um, you can add as many questions as you want. It saves as you go along. And now that question is, oh, got to say that this one here is the correct answer there. All right. So at any stage, you can delete any of the questions that you don't like on here. You can uh, duplicate them if you like the info that you've got already on there. And that makes it easy to just create your own um, questions in quizzes. So now I can play the quiz live as I did before. So again, I've got all the question options in there. Proceed. All I need to do is tell my question, uh, students to go to this website, uh, put in this code here. It's a unique code every time, and we're off and running with that quiz. So that's how you can um, take a quiz that's already on quizzes, add your own questions, and it makes it really easy. So there's quizzes.